Hello everyone, welcome to problem two point, uh, not two, uh, three point two of David Griffith's electrodynamics. So <clears throat> this problem is going to be kind of short and sweet. It says in one sentence, uh, as you can see, I have more than one sentence here, but um, just I, I wrote more just so I can kind of uh, more clearly explain my thought process on this. So. It says to justify Earnshaw's theorem, which states that a charged particle cannot be held in a stable equilibrium by electrostatic forces alone. And so the book gives a charge setup of like a of a cube, um, where you have a charge at all uh, all of the corners of the cube, and it says you know if you put a charge in the middle of the uh, cube it would appear that that would be some kind of stable equilibrium point because of all the um, the forces are would be kind of equal um, and pushing on the charge and, uh, and and keeping it in the center of the cube. However, it says that, you know, Earnshaw's theorem states that this is not possible. So, you know, come up with some kind of proof or, or some way to justify that why this theorem holds true. So... For example, consider that we have a set of n charges, so q1 all the way to qn, and they exist in a vacuum, and let E be the field produced by these charges, and let's just assume for this case that the charges are all um, greater than zero, um, but this works for charges less than zero too, uh, but just for this case, let's just assume q is greater than zero for all charges, and what do we mean by stable equilibrium? What does that mean? So a stable equilibrium means that one, the electric force, uh, you know, if we have this configuration of charges, there's gonna be some, you know, there should be, or we can, you know, assume that there will be some point uh, Z out in space where the, uh, the forces on uh, a charge at this point would keep the charge in some sort of stable equilibrium and it would just stay there. So let's just assume that this point exists for for this problem. And that so if if Z was a stable equilibrium point, then the electric force um, at point Z would be zero. Uh, or the electric field at the point Z would be zero. Um, because the charge that we place there won't be zero. Um, so the field has to be zero there. And also, for this to be a stable equilibrium point, any small displacement delta, you can say delta Z, uh, around the point Z should point inwards towards Z. That's what it means to be stable equilibrium. It'd be like a, uh, like a valley, almost, in the potential field. Uh, so any displacement would, would of the charge around Z, should the charge should move back and, and rest at Z. That's what it would mean to be a stable um, point uh, or a stable equilibrium point. So there's one way to think about this in terms of like Laplace's equation. We know that solutions to the potential, you know, these charges produce a potential um, throughout all of space. Um, and so if this were a stable equilibrium point, um, and, and, and for example, it would have to actually not be out here. It'd probably be somewhere in the middle if it did exist, but it can exist. Um, and for the cube configuration, obviously the, the point they're talking about is in the center of the cube. But so for Laplace's equations, solutions to Laplace's equations um, cannot have local minimums. This is what was gone over in previous sections of Griffiths. So basically like the whole first uh, couple pages of chapter three goes over like the um, goes over Laplace's equations in one, two, and three dimensions, and it talks about how um, the potential for the solutions to Laplace's equations can't have local local maxima or local minima, and so all the extreme values of the potential occur at the boundaries. So, in the book for the cube configuration, right. I'm just gonna try to briefly draw this, right? So we have some kind of cube uh, configuration of charges here, uh, like that. 
Um, and so at the center of the cube, well, this is not the boundary. This is not the boundary of the surface. Like the we can't have a a minimum here. If this was a stable equilibrium point, this would be a local minimum, which can't that can't possibly exist um, for uh, you know for solutions to Laplace's equation. So this can't be right. So basically what this is telling you is that this is not a local minimum, but this is actually like a saddle point. So a saddle point and like a potential function uh, sort of looks like, I don't even know if I can draw a saddle point, um, but it's sort of like a point where you'll have uh, along this sort of plane, it looks like that. But then if you're going in and out of the page, it would slope down on either side. So any way you move, it, would, uh, it wouldn't be a stable equilibrium. The charge could continue going to a lower point. It wouldn't even be the local minimum. Um, so it's not a stable equal A saddle point, just look up uh, or Google an image of a saddle point and you should see what, uh, a, what, that, is sort of, what that looks like. Um, I found another explanation for this where they consider like a Gaussian surface, uh, like, like a sphere, um, that's centered at our point Z with the radius of R. And since the electric field uh, points towards Z for, for any point along our sphere, uh, it has to if, if, if our assumption is that Z is a stable equilibrium point, then the electric field must point towards Z. Um, that would mean that the the flux, uh, um, the electric flux, the integral over our Gaussian surface e dot dA, must be less than zero because all the electric field lines are pointing inwards and not outwards. Um, and dA is the normal unit vector, uh, so e, uh, and so obviously we know that uh, the Ga uh, Gauss's law, the electric flux is equal to Q and close over epsilon naught. Um, so that would uh, that must mean that uh, Q enclosed is less than zero um, or negative, which um, defies our initial assumption that uh, our charges are positive. So that just brings up like a contradiction. So that's one explanation I found online. Um, however, the more common explanation uses the fact that um, Laplace's equation or solutions to Laplace's equation state that there, there can't be any local minimums or maximums and therefore having a stable equilibrium like that uh, just won't work um, so because all the minimums or extremes have to occur at the boundary so that's um, that's basically the one way to explain or justify Earnshaw's theorem so there's not much I can really say more about that uh, I'm not an expert in this theorem, um, but I just did some research online about it myself and, and just kind of came up with some of these answers. So uh, I hope that uh, is good enough for you guys. If you guys have questions, please let me know in the comments below and I will try to respond to you guys. So thank you everyone and have a great day.